Greetings, Earthman, earthmansoil.com. God bless you. I hope you guys are doing well, getting your gardens ready. Let's be self-sufficient together. Quick video on uh, soil structure. And um, this, I, I took these chunks out of my hugel bed because I'm breaking it down, guys, to make hugel pots for the big push. You'll see, it's gonna be big, but I just want you guys to see the soil structure here and that's why we have no-till when you do a garden okay because what happens is all these little channels form where the micros went through and bugs worms protozoas um, just all the you know light that's in soil creates these pathways and as you can see I got mycocillin growth over here um, that's spreading out now that the temperature's getting back and you can see some over here um, and bacteria is all over there but soil structure is important and no-till is important because what happens is all those little uh, holes that are created by the life in your soil help when it comes to the water distribution in your soil it's really important and um, the water will be distributed, you know, evenly. And that's what you want. And also it, it makes, uh, you know, easy for the roots to go through, okay? Um, the roots can go through there really good. And, um, you know, the bigger the roots, the bigger the plants. So I just wanted to point out that no-till works. Soil structure is important. Now, so I'll, I'll break this up a little bit just so you can see the inside. Are you seeing it? So a lot of organic matter and um, a lot of, see, that's not just dense soil. It's got all that, it's like Swiss cheese, like biochar. And that's all created naturally by life. And so if you don't have life in your soil, um, yeah, you know, there's no way you can do organic. You might as well just go out and get yourself some miracle Grow in a jug. All right, God bless you.